And this story that we are following obviously very closely today for you. Thousands of Muslim Brotherhood supporters are now marching on downtown Cairo. We understand that they are building barricades along the side of the streets to protect themselves from the other side. And it is called a day of rage that they have called for in response to the bloody military crackdown that we have witnessed the past few days. Meanwhile, here at home, uh, some critics have uh, something to say about the president's response on all this to the violence in Egypt after he weighed in on the chaos from his summer rental home. Watch this. The United States strongly condemns the steps that have been taken by Egypt's interim government and security forces. We deplore violence against civilians. We support universal rights essential to human dignity, including the right to peaceful protest. Well, Bob Beckel is a former Democratic campaign manager and co-host of The Five, and Myra Miller is an advisor to congressional Republicans and a senior vice president of the Winston Group. Welcome uh, to both of you. So, uh, good to have you here uh, this morning, both of you. So, so Bob, the, the discussion was, you know, we, we were asking ourselves when that played, because we got an audio version of it first yesterday from Martha's Vineyard, and then later on we got the video version, and by the time we got the video version, we later learned that the president had gone to play a round of golf. Everybody knows the president's on vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, the question is, 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 is that a smart way to present the president in terms of how he's handling this crisis while he's on vacation? Well, no, I think a better choice would have been to go have him go knit. Um, the, uh, I, I, we kidding each other. I mean, the, these are, the guy's on vacation. He's going to play golf. What is he going to do it's about Egypt beyond the statement he made? I mean, perfectly legitimate. And, you know, he gets more heat for golf than, than I used to get for my grades, uh, which were never very good. But, uh, you know, I, I, I think you just have to give him a break. Myra, give him a break. Uh, I think there, this, this issue points out sort of two, uh, two problems for the president. The first, as you point out, Martha, is visual. You know, this situation has exploded at a time when uh, the president's on vacation in Martha's Vineyard. That's so optically, that's not a good moment for him. But more importantly, from the substance side, you know, we've talked about this on this program before, and that is there is a lack of a cohesive foreign policy doctrine from this administration, and that has been one of the complaints from congressional leaders and so what they are trying to get some clarity on is exactly what sort of outcomes and objectives he's trying to achieve in the region you know bob i i know that you think it's silly to discuss this golf thing and i understand where you're coming from on that because mm -hmm. i agree with you that that the president every president needs a break uh... and i think the american people completely accept that what i'm what i'm talking about though is is the perception and for sometimes perceptions are important in terms of how seriously something's being taken so might it not have been wise to say you know today the president of course he's on vacation but right he's going to spend some time in the office in the house that they are spending the weekend he'll be talking to chuck hagel he'll be talking to john kerry and you know maybe present pictures of him doing that because then the american people get the impression which i'm sure is the the case, we assume, that he is being briefed on this, rather than what happened yesterday, which is, it, it, does it send the wrong signal? Well, I, I, you know, I suppose if you had to, if you had to choreograph it, it may have been better that he had Hegel come up and, you know, other people come up and he does a meeting and that sort of thing. But I really don't think the American people begrudge a president doing what he wants to do on a vacation and also understand that there's very little he can do. I mean, that's the problem here. This is, this is a, Egypt is the center of, of uh, the Muslim uh, community and uh, it is a complicated and difficult situation. So I, I just I think I understand what you're saying about the visuals, but I don't think you could choreograph these things down to.